This is my rotator that I use to promote the landing pages of my customers at classifiedsubmissions.com. I've got about 80 classified ad websites. They're getting thousands of logins per day each. And if you're a member of classifiedsubmissions.com, you give me your landing page. Every time people log in to any of these sites, including the freeadforum.com, which has got over 500,000 members and gets about 5,000, uh, you know, ads posted a day, including that site, you're going to see a full page ad from one of the members of classifiedsubmissions.com. This is the rotator. So this rotator gets a lot of traffic. So here is a, a landing page you see from one of my customers. Now I'm going to refresh this and you're going to see another landing page from one of my customers. Okay. We'll just keep going here. Here's another landing page. Wow. It sounds, looks like the same thing, but this is another customer using the exact same landing page. Let's do it again. I'm just refreshing here real time. Okay. Let's keep going. We're going to refresh, refresh, refresh. Oh, wait a second. This is yet another landing page for another customer, but it's the same one. It's a real nice looking landing page, but let's go to refresh it again. Okay. We got someone who's got something different. That's great. Now we've got, let's do it again. Okay. So far, here we go. We found the, it almost looks exactly the same. Same words. Discover how to start online blueprint. Sounds fantastic. It sounds so fantastic that three quarters of, I'm just, I can just keep going. Three quarters of my customers are using the same exact landing page. These are all different customers and they're using the same exact landing page. It's a great landing page. But the problem is when you're promoting a really popular program like Legacy Builder is that it's really good. But if everyone is promoting the same thing, people get ad blind to this. So if I opted into this one, okay, why should I opt in to the next one? Why should I opt into somebody else's page, which is exactly the same? Why should I opt into this one? It's the same page for, for the viewer. Okay. So you, when you're pro promoting a popular program, I've seen this before with other programs. They're very good. They're really good programs. That's why people promote them, but they're all promoting them cookie cutter with the exact same material. You have to come up with an original approach. Now I'm going to show you another landing page. Now here's a landing page that I whipped up in just a few minutes with a Weber's landing page creator. I mean, it's not a sophisticated landing page. It's really simple. Um, I'm offering free software if they join my newsletter. And that's it. I got like 48 opt-ins within, you know, like four days or so using the same exact traffic as this. And from what I'm finding, this is outperforming this, even though this is a better landing page. Why? Because everybody is using the same one. There's no originality to it. Again, this is another customer. I click refresh. I can just keep going on and on and on. Finally, we got something different here. You know, sometimes people have something different and it just goes on and on. So this is not as good a landing page. This really looks better, doesn't it? Um, but I'm getting more opt-ins with this one. And what is the formula? I'm offering something for free to get them into my list. You see, a lot of people have heard of Legacy Builder already. Maybe they have opinions on it. Now, if you get them in your email list and your follow-ups follow up with them, with uh, an original landing page, you can develop a relationship with them and tell them why it's good that they do legacy builder with you. Okay. You can offer different bonuses, a different per personal coaching, personal help. You can distinguish yourself from the masses promoting the same thing. So you really got to be careful. Um, especially when you're dealing with smaller networks, you know, you're dealing with classifiedsubmissions.com. It's not the same as Google. Google, you could take from a pool of millions of people, but that's going to cost you a lot more money. And there, that might work pretty well. Maybe if you want to spend the money on the advertising, but if you're in safe list or traffic uh, builders, uh, things like that, or classifiedsubmissions.com, which is, which is a good thing to do because they have a lot of business opportunity people, then you have to have a more original approach. You can, and, and don't do like mine. Okay. Don't just say give away software. I don't care. Come up with something that is original that no one else is promoting. Give away something for free. You don't even have to say anything about legacy builder. Once you get the email and follow up, then 
then you can introduce them to, and that's the real way to do it. I know a lot of people don't want to hear this because it requires more work. It's not cookie cutter. It's not copy and paste. I can't do anything about that, man. You've got to be able to, uh, to innovate and change a little bit. And this is not that hard. Listen, I know what I'm talking about. I've just logged into my AWeber account. I got 441 subscribers to my AWeber, all right? I've been making money with email for years and years. Um, so that's just so far today. Um, so honestly, I'm telling you, simple sells and you have to be a little original when promoting a popular, popular program. Here, I'm an AWeber. That's just the one I use. There's a lot of other companies out there. I'll put the link below, you know. Um, there are a lot of good ones. This is another one. And here, I just choose this template and I can just come here and, you know, uh, just put something, download my free stuff. You can just follow along stuff, follow along the instructions, and then you publish it. Okay. I'm not going to go through the whole thing here. Um, no, I didn't fill it all out because I wanted to show you, but here's the published landing page and people come here and they will subscribe to my newsletter. I would put a look, I would even use a logo. I take this off and just put some text here and put some bullet points here. And it's, it's, you don't have to know any coding or anything. And I've got a URL here that I can use. I can put a, a, a short link to make it shorter or redirect a domain to it. If I, if I really want to, I'm not even doing that on my end, but you could come up with something original very easily, very quickly without any, really any tech skills. So, and come up with something neat that you can offer them. Maybe a list of resources, a list of advertising resources, uh, software, if you want, um, personal contact with you, personal coaching with you, whatever, use your imagination. You got to use your imagination be a little creative. If you're going to be promoting these type of programs, because otherwise it's kind of like a circular firing squad. Okay. Thank God this person came up with something different. They were creative and this is going to get more opt-ins. Um, it's going to be like a circular firing squad. You know, if you just have the same thing over and over again, everyone's trying to sell, sell the same thing with the same ad copy to everybody. Okay. So that's just a little tip. Um, and just not just for legacy builder, but any other programs that are very popular. So I hope this helps you and hope this helps you uh, get more opt-ins on these less expensive networks, which are smaller, but offer a good value for the money. Uh, and it gives you, it's just a little edge that you can have over your competition who's selling the same thing. Okay. So thanks so much. If you like this video, please like it, please share it. Um, if you want to become a member of classifiedsubmissions.com, I'll put the link below and we'll run your landing page right on all these sites. Every time people log in, there's thousands of people logging in every day. We'll put your landing page in rotation, but make it a little different than the others. And I think you'll have better results. Also, please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like, share, and comment. Thank you so much.